Okay, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about concentric, eccentric, and isometric contractions. And the example that we're going to use is the biceps brachii, or just straight biceps. Okay, as you can see uh, from here, the shortened definition just means concentric muscle contraction just means shortening. Eccentric means the muscle is lengthening while it's contracting. And isometric just means it's static, it's not moving, it's not getting shorter or longer, it's staying the same length. Okay, so we're not going to go into a bunch of physiology stuff about the myofibrils and the actin and myosin and stuff, but this is just the real simplified version. Shortening, lengthening, or not moving. Okay, so if I take this, if you bend your arm up, and you're going to go this way, you know, flex your elbow, and you see these points here with the yellow dots? That's where the muscles are originating up here, where biceps originates, and biceps inserts right here on the radial tuberosity and the radius. Now when you do a concentric shortening motion, um, contraction, these two points are going to come together, and these are going to squeeze this way. Basically, it's going to come like this, and the muscle is going to go like that and squeeze together, right? So they're shortening. Now, that's if you bring your arm your uh, forearm or your hand bend it up, okay? Now, eccentric would just be the opposite. We're still contracting the muscle, but now we're bringing the, our, your hand back down, and now these two yellow points here are moving back or away from each other, back to the original position. So, that's the eccentric. The muscle is lengthening when that's doing it. These are going just going in the opposite direction. But you're still having a contraction, okay? Now, for isometric, say you bring your hand up, you flex your elbow, bend your elbow up to 90 degrees. So we're going to bring it up here, and we're just going to stop. And then you just hold it there, okay? That would be an isometric hold. We're just holding it in that one position. The muscles aren't contracting very much, just enough to hold your hand up there. But if we were to put a 10-pound dumbbell up, and you would just hold it, your muscle would be working a lot harder, be a lot more tougher to hold the weight up there. That'd be an isometric contraction. It's not moving. You are keeping it there, not moving. The velocity is zero. Um, so we can take this concept to any muscle in the body. We can take it to the deltoid muscle. We can take it to quads, you know, for knee extension and flexion. Um, if you bring your legs straight out, your quads are getting are shortening, they're concentric. If, they're, if you're bringing your, bending your knee, that would be eccentric lengthening of your quads, quadriceps. So, um, it's important to know the origins and insertions of these muscles though, so you can tell where um, the points are, where these points would be getting shorter or longer, so if the muscles lengthening or shortening. Anyway, Thanks for watching the video. Hope this helped you. Um, it's a real, um, not too hard of a concept, but uh, just know shortening, lengthening, or not moving or static is isometric. Thanks for watching. Check out other videos. Thanks.